Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be showing off this awesome clay Sonic Hedgehog plush from the Sega Sonic Hedgehog line. Very well made plush, awesome awesome plush, if you can get in your collection then that is awesome. Um, this is a, uh, originates from Japan and here's a suction cup plush as well, so you can put him on the window so you can stick around and stuff like that. But before we get to the features on the plush, let's show you guys the tags. So as you can see here guys, this tag, like I said before, is from the Sega Sonic line, so this is the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 era, 95, 96 era. Uh, and you could get these uh, as prizes in Japan, uh, I'm guessing throughout Japan, uh, obviously main places would be uh, Tokyo and whatnot. And you probably get these from the UFO crane uh, claw machines as uh, prizes, just like you can have uh, these days in Japan. Um, his touch tag is on his side here. It just has the usual thing of Sega, 995 and whatnot, um, and more information there in Japanese. Uh, let's go to the plush now. As you can see, he has uh, plastic eyes. Uh, very, very uh, fragile part of the plush anyway, especially the white dots of the pupils of the eyes here. They will definitely fade or scratch easily. Um, overall, as a plush, he is very decent, very high quality, great stuff um, plush with uh, very vibrant colours. On some areas, like for example the ears, you have uh, for the inside detail of the ears, you see that they have done um, felt for the inside there. Okay. Very like, uh, what's the word for it, for the colour, like uh, just a skinny type colour for the ears. Um, got the brows there, decent details around the brows, the muzzle, um, you can just about see a smile from Sonic, it's quite hidden in his muzzle. Um, the gloves are pretty cool, you've got the, um, on this side I believe, I'm trying to find it, you have the Sonic uh, Classic uh, finger pose here, which is very common in some of the old uh, fashioned plushes. And the hand detail is, uh, is okay, it's average, it has uh, like strings of cotton there in between the fingers, so you can sort of differentiate where the fingers are. Um, the shoes are really awesome, I like the design on the, on the Sonic Hedgehog shoes here. Um, you can see for the top part of these shoes, for the strap in, they have uh, its felt, it's made in felt and whatnot, and it's actually really nicely solid made. It's just a fantastic, um, really fantastically made. I, I love the solidness of the plush, the, I love the parts of these shoes here, the trims of the shoes, they're fantastic. Um, yeah, he's a really awesome plush, I love this plush so much in my collection. I've recently bought a few more classic ones uh, off of uh, online through Japanese sites and whatnot, and I'm hoping to get them maybe in a couple of weeks. So yeah, I'm working on getting my um, Sonic Hedgehog classic collection up. His quills are quite scrunched together in this one, but um, very solid nevertheless. Awesome design, very very classic-y. Um, so yeah, um, on that point guys, that is it for the review, I haven't have much more to say. Um, you probably find them around eBay for maybe, I don't know, £80, 60 to £80, pounds, around that mark. Um, I'd say it's, it's not a terribly rare plush, that, not, not, not that I know of, but um, I'd say it's very uncommon to see in any auction or whatnot, but uh, definitely worth getting in your collection. So uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions about this plush, just leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you on that. And uh, as usual guys, like I say at, at the end of every video, thank you for all your support. Um, I appreciate all the likes and all the views and whatnot, you know. I'm just here to entertain you guys and show my collection. I don't really care about getting famous. So, yeah. Like I said, thanks for all your support and everything. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll be back very soon with more Sonic Hedgehog videos. So, take care.